Well, it looks like Molly Picklam and Lakey Peterson are loving their time here in Victoria. As are we, as we get into the opening round here of the Rip Curl Pro Bell Speech, presented by Bonsoy for the women. And the world number one is currently out there in the lineup in that yellow jersey. And she has really made it her own and made some huge statements this season. In the blue, and Ellie Harrison, the local here from Barwon Heads, Victoria. The Grom will be out there in the white jersey. Let's see what she got done on this opening ride, Rich. Yeah, what an incredible, incredible experience here for, for Ellie. Her first wave against two, uh, well, the number one in the world at the moment, and Isabella Nichols, who's been a force for a number of years now. So uh, she gets a pretty decent ride to start things off. A 5.67 on this ride. Comes all the way through to the inside and belts it. So uh, a really well-constructed one. It was one for the record books, and in my opinion, it's probably changed uh, women's surfing at that location uh, forevermore. And, and, at any and location. Kate, yeah, uh, Caitlin Simmers uh, w was another one and that had a hand in that, as we see Molly up and riding now. Can't leave Betty Lou out either. The, the three of them, it felt like, were just pushing one another to, to just, you know, put rides and performances we haven't seen at that venue before. But Molly... She's got to perform at all the venues on the CT this season to get herself another shot at a world title at the WSL finals. The, the performance from Molly at Pipe in particular was just so unbelievable, wasn't it? That 10-point ride, it's, it's just seared into my memory as we see now. Isabella getting started here. A couple of nice turns for her, using her priority wisely. This wave stood up nicely on that outside section. She sticks with it now. Looking to build some speed. 26-year-old sitting outside the top 10 at the moment. Needs a big finish here. Has uh, survived the cut. Has fallen victim to the cut and that uh, doesn't want to end up on the, the wrong side of the the cut line and uh, getting a big result here could really take the pressure off here's the replay well here's step step one in the campaign uh, not a bad wave all things considered that was a beautiful turn there almost a two-stage car but she got the work done third one wraps it back into the foam and then does all this work through the inside you can see pumping pumping the board all the way to that last section Isabella does well. It's a good opener for her. She'll take some confidence out of that. See the slow-mo here. You can see there. Just gets that wrap. The wave steepens up here. This is that second one. Lays it on rail, putting all that pressure. And uh, the face just laid down a little bit. In the opening round, that was Ellie Harrison. Just uh, Bell's getting the better of her on that last wave. And Molly Picklam got into this one looking to uh, drop her first decent number of this heat. Oh, look at this thing. Down the line. Nice big carving hook from Molly. Driving off the bottom again and just over. I do feel like she's riding a slightly longer board running in this heat and uh, maybe just trying to adjust to that extra length on the board. Overall, result-wise, result I, I had like a couple throwaways already last year, so this year I, I'm a bit more consistent, which which feels nice. And I haven't haven't been able to make a final yet, but I, I've been more consistent, which is really good. But um, she did enough work to uh, to drop that score. She'll be looking to build on that now and feeling confident that she has a uh, a good score on the board. Ellie Harrison, let's see if she can clean things up after falling on that last ride. Already has a decent number, mid-range five. That board almost skipping there. And she glides off the bottom and off the top. Piecing it together. Just flowing at this point. Banking off the foam. Now she's starting to put it together through the inside. If she can put a finish on this wave, it could be a pretty decent number. Oh, nice. Yeah, a little mix up. A, a bit of variety here from Ellie. This wave's still going. And she, uh, she gives it some on the inside. Can't ride out. Didn't have a lot of speed once she reached the oncoming section. And here's a replay of her last wave. Wow, she got this one from way out the back. Rolled in. And uh, streaking down the line here. Sets up this first section. Tags it. Yeah, but she uh, manages to, to get through it. This is Isabella Nichols. And just trips oh. up. Wow, that was a dangerous fall. Back to live action now. Molly Picklam finds herself 
rarely finds herself in third position, but here in this opening round, that's the story. And she needs a 3.18 to get out of trouble here. Seven and a half minutes to go. Molly's been down here enjoying everything that's been uh, unfolding around the event. Checking out the F1 as well as she oh, climbs up. No. That. And this was Molly Picklam. You can just see all those bumps and ridges on the face, making it very, very difficult for our women to find these little uh, moments of glory on these waves. So at this point, Molly really hasn't uh, collected too many points. Now she starts to open up, gets a little flare with that foam hit. Bringing it all the way through to the inside section. The legs are burning right at this point. And uh, well, and here we go, takes off. Not a bad looking bowl here, running off a little bit. Staying patient, gets the first carve. Stays with the power source and again out on the open face. Comes through this foamy section, stays with it. With it. Obviously sees something down the line. Coming through the inside. Staying nice and low, that weight on the front foot, and then gets that little tag. It's moving into the lineup. Looks like uh, Isabella's going to take this one on the inside. Oh, oh she goes down. He's kind of fell awkwardly there too. Two and a half minutes to go. Ellie Harrison on the outside. She likes the look of this one. It's a tricky takeoff. Stays prone for a moment. Right through the white water now. Hangs on that rail. This wave might steepen up on the inside at the moment. It's very chattery. It's a tricky ride, but she's doing well. The 18-year-old, as she gets to this final section, climbs the roof. It sort of uh, actually just drops out from underneath her. She does well to hang on there. Doesn't want to lose any momentum now. But here's the replay of Ellie's ride. Yeah, so, Ellie, this was a, a foamy monster, as we call it, right from the opening uh, moment here. And Ellie doing very well just to keep that board engage keep the fins set you can see just uh that really quick footed uh, action that she has and uh gets to the finish that's the drive well yeah. this one's coming to an end and the world number one is still in that third position and wow. molly pickland's gonna have to fight her way out of the elimination round but listen to the local crowd for ellie harrison she is on her way to the third round. That's huge. With a very strong performance there.